Hello, I'm Adam Barillet and welcome to this Crystal Connections video where we're exploring five of my favourite essential oils for cleansing energy. Now first of all, let's explore what on earth is cleansing energy. Well, just like we clean our house, our air, our water, our bodies, sometimes the energy around us feels like it's dense, heavy or dirty. Have you ever walked into a space and it's just felt, ugh, yuck, or it's felt uncomfortable, or after an argument has felt like, you know, there's a bit of density in the space, or maybe you've just had like a rather stressful period of life and you just feel like you need to drop away all that energy so it feels better. Well, this is where we can use different gifts from the plant kingdom. Now, there are many things that you may be familiar with already. The first thing being sage, in particular, white sage. Now, this is used, it's, the leaves are dried and they're created into a smudge stick. Now, there are other plants such as cedar that can all be, also be used as smudge sticks. Plus, there's things like Palo Santo, which is a fragrant wood found in South America. However, although I don't know for sure, I have heard whisperings around that because these are so popular for using for cleansing energy then they have actually become a bit endangered and so the harvesting of palo santo trees for their wood and the um, of white sage has actually caused there be to be a limit other kind of problems are you obviously need to light both these so there's a bit of a fire hazard it can smell rather smoky in a space as well and this is where i love essential oils all the essential oils that I'm going to talk about today can be sustainably sourced. They can be dropped into a spritz bottle with some natural water. So when I say natural water, I mean something like um, rainwater, seawater, ocean water, stream water, something pure from nature and spritzed around the space. They're going to smell great, they're sustainable and you're not going to have a fire hazard or too much smoke going around which will accidentally set off smoke alarms. Might have done that once or twice. So let's dive in and explore five of my favourite essential oils for cleansing different energies. One of my regular go-to essential oils when it comes to cleansing energy is lemongrass. Now lemongrass is used for the body, it's high in something called citrol to detoxify the body, but on an energetic level it's also really potent as well. Now when you look at the plant that gives us this essential oil from its leaves, it's these long blades of grass and it almost looks like a sword. Lemongrass I actually call my essential oil sword of light. And so just as though you've got a magical sort of light, you're cutting away all density and you know things that are causing lack of clarity in your life, this is where lemongrass is absolutely amazing. And this is where using it can really help with that. So where would I use lemongrass? You know when you're feeling overwhelmed um, and there's a lack of clarity because there's too much going on and there's too much crazy energy and you need just a, like a golden ray of light to come through and show you the way forward. That's where lemongrass can be really great. Lemongrass can work on several different chakras. It can work mainly on the solar plexus chakra, especially when there's power struggles. So if you're feeling dominated, you're not being able to shine enough, um, you're feeling inhibited in some way, shy socially, lemongrass can help to cleanse all that kind of too much thought going on in the head and just go, hey, let's just have fun and let's just embrace that. It can even be used for the third eye chakra when we're having issues with our intuition or with our intellect and we just can't focus. Getting a bit of lemongrass, spritzing it around, popping it in a diffuser or just smelling a couple of drops out of the hand will really help with this energy center to help you understand what's helping. Now, there is another chakra that you may not be so familiar with called the incarnator chakra. This is located below our feet, below the earth star chakra. It's about 40 to 60 centimeters below. And this one really connects us with our ancestry, our tribe, our clan, and where we came from. Now that lemongrass can be used to cut away all the kind of family and generational baggage that's kind of lagged on, you know, things that have kind of dragged us down in the past that we've learned from our parents, that they've learned from their parents and so on and that type of thing, but also to bring forward any wisdom and power. Remember in the past that our people wherever we are in the world, used to have a lot stronger connection to the land and would have had lots more, lot more wisdom with the land as well. If we can bring that wisdom through the generations and leave the rubbish behind, and lemongrass can help us to do that, that can make us more potent people working with all the gifts of nature. Litsia is an essential oil gifted to us from a purple berry from a plant that is native to different areas in Asia. And this is where that essential oil is really, really quite popular. It's also known locally as Mei Chang. Now this purple berry's essential oil has a lemon flake kind of aroma, kind of similar to lemongrass, but you will notice differences in it. 
Now physically, this is a great essential oil for helping to clear out air smog. So if there's been wildfires or bushfires or air pollution, diffusing this around the space can really help to clean the air. And that's what's popular in big Asian cities for that reason. It's beautiful lemon scent as well. It's also lovely for cleansing the air. Now again, what an oil does physically, that translates into the metaphysics as well. And this is really good for helping to cleanse awkwardness or heaviness that's in the air. Now, whereas lemongrass brings in this energy of light and kind of illumination and clarity, Litsia brings in laughter. I want you to think about laughter for a second. Anything you can laugh at has no power over you. If someone is giving you a hard time, if you can just laugh that off, it has no impact. It doesn't drag you down. If there's a circumstance that's really challenging at the moment, but you can find a way to giggle in the middle of it and have fun with it, then it's not as stressful anymore. Think about if you've had an argument with someone and you can get to a state where you're getting into where we're laughing about it and how ridiculous this is. Well, that's what Litsia brings in. Litsia kind of has this attitude of clearing the air by laughing, by remembering that at the end of the day, this is all a game that we're playing and that we can just be, have a bit more fun with it. So if you're finding that things are getting awkward or uncomfortable and you need to bring back that joy, almost like that teenage, yeah, whatever, that childlike kind of bliss and go, it's not that important really, because at the end of the day, in a year or two years or five years or 10 or in a decade or in a century, no one's gonna care about this. Let it go, let's just have fun, let's have joy. We know how healing laughter can be and let's see if it brings out in the gift of laughter, getting rid of all density, awkwardness and disconnection between people. Centuries and centuries ago, they used to burn the leaves and the branches of junipers to help cleanse temples and different sacred spaces. Now today we have an amazing essential oil gifted by the juniper berry, the fruits that grow on the juniper trees. This is an amazing cleanser again for the body, but also for the spirit as well. I love getting a therapeutic grade juniper essential oil and popping one drop in my um, water and drinking that. Now, when do I do this in particular? Well, I tend to do this whenever I feel that my organs, especially like my kidneys or my liver and that needs a bit of a cleanse. But as we know, we also store emotional energy in our organs as well. And so when things are kind of draining us, that can also have an impact on our organs. So from time to time, I'll do different big festivals around the world where big spiritual festivals where I'm talking to people for up to 10 hours a day. Now we don't talk about the weather and we don't talk about, you know, mundane things. We talk about, you know, people's love lives, their financial stresses, their, you know, their, what's really upsetting their soul. And so this, after 10 hours of talking about that, you can imagine can be very, very draining. Other people also that can be really big, strong empaths and pick up the emotional energy of people around them can get home at the end of the day and be absolutely exhausted from all the emotional energy of other people. And this is where juniper berry is really, really great. By either drinking a drop in water if it's um, allowed by the company you're getting your juniper berry from, or again, in that spritz bottle and spritzing it around can help to take away all that emotional energy. So for empaths or people that feel emotionally drained, this allows us to drop all the emotional energy that either we've brought on ourselves or that from being around other people, we've kind of absorbed and letting that go. This makes this really quite potent and powerful. As we drop all the mundane emotionality of other people, Juniper is amazing for helping with the third eye chakra, our intuition and having clearer visions as well. So really to help us rise above the emotional muck, almost like a lotus flower, growing out of the mud of, and gunk of the river up towards the sun, Juniper Berry helps you get rid of all the fears, all the emotions, all the things that weigh you down and let go of other people's emotions so that you can be clear, that you can get clarity and you can be your best spiritual self. cilantro leaf essential oil, which may also be called coriander leaf essential oil, same plant, different names, um, is often used therapeutically to help to get rid of heavy metals in our body. So again, from physicality to energetically, how does cilantro leaf work? Well, it's really good for helping to get density and heaviness out of our lives, especially I find by helping us work through repressed emotions. I remember one instance of some individual who did not like cilantro leaf essential oil at all. She hated it. And when we got into conversations about talking about her mother, she goes, oh no, 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 no. I have forgiven my mother and if I never see her again, I'll be fine. That would suggest not that someone has forgiven their mother for traumatic things that have happened in the past, but more they've repressed it and they don't want to see her to avoid triggering that back up again. 
You want to get to the point where you have released something and risen above that, where you could see your mother and be fine or actually embrace her and thank her for being the way she was, even if she's horrible, because she made you into the person she, you are today and she taught you lessons along the way as well. So whenever there is anything heavy emotionally holding you back, and you feel that it weighs on you and you can even see in people's faces, in their shoulders, that the emotions of the past or pain of the past is dragging them, this is where you want to start working with cilantro. Cilantro is really going to help to cleanse away the heaviness. As we know, metals are heavy things and they weigh us all down. And so also heavy emotions like anger, resentment, regret, remorse, shame, all those types of things, grief, can be really quite heavy on our soul. We want to get rid of them so that we can feel free and light, just like the aroma of cilantro leaf. So whenever you're feeling weighed down by the heaviness of strong emotions, especially emotional um, issues of the past, this is where cilantro leaf is absolutely amazing. I've left the best till last. And when it comes to cleansing energy, hyssop essential oil is like the flamethrower. It helps to cleanse absolutely everything that is no longer serving you in your life. It has been used in the past for keeping away the angel of death, for cleansing temples, for guarding houses, and a whole range of different things. Whenever you need some potent cleansing, this is where we reach for hyssop. Now, it may not be one that you use every day, but when you do feel like you need a complete cleanse out and get rid of everything that doesn't serve you anymore, this is an amazing essential oil. It can be slightly dangerous, and you do have to make sure you're getting one that's a non-toxic variety. So do look at the, the recommendations by each essential oil company and how they recommend using it. Um, and hyssop is one that's probably, if you're trying to fall pregnant, if you are pregnant or you're an epileptic, you might want to steer clear of as well. But I don't want you to be scared of this amazing essential oil. Hyssop works really well with the crown chakra, and often it is the heaviness and density and the troubles of everyday life, whatever that may be, that stop us from ascending and being clear and our true spiritual selves. Reach for hyssop whenever you really need feel, like I said before, you need the flamethrower to clear it all out and start again. You know, I'm filming this near the end of 2020, which has been a very emotional packed year of um, lots of different changes. And you may feel that you really need to kind of be a phoenix rising out of the ashes and hyssop will allow you to do that anything that no longer serves you, that needs to be banished into the past and let go so that you can have a fresh start, hyssop is really great for that. Hyssop is high in eucalyptol. Now, eucalyptol is also what we find in eucalyptus trees, like the ones that are all around me here. Now, as we know, eucalyptus helps us to breathe in and breathe out. And this is a great way to cleanse the body and to bring the body back to center and to feel really calm. The more effectively we can breathe, the more effectively calm we can be because the way we breathe communicates with the body how we're actually feeling. Hyssop helps us to breathe really clearly as well. Breathing in what nourishes us and breathing out what no longer serves us and allowing that to be a free flowing activity or, or action where we're not actually having things kind of lingering and getting stuck to us in different ways. So if you really need a strong cleansing, grab your hyssop essential oil, just three drops in a spray bottle and cleanse that around the space whenever you need it and soon you'll start to feel a lot better. So there are a whole range of different essential oils that you can use to cleanse as well. And I, it was really hard trying to pick my five. You know, in Australia, we often use oils such as eucalyptus and lemon myrtle, which the native people use as well. And what I'd really encourage you to do is if you know what the native or indigenous people use in your area, use that. If it's an essential oil, that's absolutely amazing as well. But hopefully these five that I've talked about today have given you some other ideas as well. I'd love to know what you use to cleanse your space and your energy when you're feeling yuck or just the space is not feeling right. Please leave a comment in the section below. Now remember when it comes to sourcing essential oils, you want to make sure that you're getting a high quality essential oil. Many essential oils around the world are mislabeled and are adulterated. You're not actually getting a true pure gift from the plant kingdom. If you'd like some guidance on where to find things that are authentic, therapeutic, pure grade essential oils, drop me a message. My details are down below as well. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I'm Adam Barrowley. Blessed be.